Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the M548. Now this here was a cargo carrier um, that was basically started its service career in 1960 and it's still in service today um, with uh, many different variants and stuff like that. Now uh, this version here is the standard version of the M548. There are plenty of other versions that mount uh, different A weapons and artillery weapons and all that stuff in the back of it but this is just the standard cargo version i will also be showing you guys how to uh, put the canvas on for those of you guys that may be wondering uh you can see here we have the base, pretty much the basic design of it but with the canvas on it it does change just a tiny bit uh so i will be showing you guys how to uh how to incorporate both onto your build now uh this vehicle here is uh pretty cool it's built upon the m113 uh apc chassis and uh, it's a very cool carrier or really cargo carrier for the uh, fact that it can be it's very lightweight and has a very strong engine so it can carry a lot of um, gear on it and munitions and it can also be carried by helicopters and planes because of its lightweight and deployed into areas that would have uh, you know it would have been harder for it to get into or some heavier transporting vehicles so it's very cool and a very uh, awesome vehicle uh, and this is going to be part of day two of the um, of my uh, nation build week. Uh, this is a little delayed though because I went ahead and I did have an original design to record the tutorial, everything like that, and then I realized it wasn't what I it wasn't the best I can do. So I went back and I completely uh, redid some stuff on it and uh, made it a lot better and a lot of stuff. So I do apologize for a little bit of delay, but I want to make sure that I give you guys a quality vehicle and not one that's not to my to the to my standards of uh, building. So uh, that's why it's a little delayed, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Now, uh, this is a birthday requested vehicle, so I want to go ahead and wish a happy birthday to Robert Wallace. And uh, he asked for the M548 with the volcano in the back. Now, I do not have the volcano in the back of this one, but I will be releasing a tutorial for the variant uh, that does have it in the back. I just wanted to make sure that we have the standard M M548 uh, done before we go ahead and start adding stuff to it. Uh, but he serves in the military and actually uh, operates one of the M548s with the Volcano Launcher. So pretty awesome stuff and uh, thank you so much Robert for your service and hopefully you have a great birthday man. Sorry it is a day late but uh, that's just what happens sometimes. I want to make sure that this vehicle was the best I can do so hopefully you understand. Uh, but anyways uh, with that we can go ahead and uh, actually hop into the vehicle and start looking at it. So. Overall, it's got some pretty cool qualities about it and uh, very nice. So as you can see, it's pretty small and I do actually have a funny story about this. I may tell you sometime later, but uh, that's not the time because we're going to be focusing on the tutorial here. But I do have a funny story about this vehicle in real life and all that stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started by taking a look. So in the front here, you have the tow cable, the winch, all that stuff, uh, some front headlights, a little bit of detailing and uh, all that stuff. Looks really good from the front. Uh, on the top here, you have the mounted uh, M2 Browning uh, 50 cal machine gun uh, for defense. This thing has pretty much no armor on it, so it can easily be uh, easily be uh, attacked and uh, taken out. So it has a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of uh, defenses with the 50 cal on top. And you can see this right here is where the driver, passenger, and potentially the gunner. I don't know if three people would actually be in here. It may just be a gunner and a passenger, but this does have a crew of four, so it could be three people up there in the front. Who knows? And then uh, for the back section here, you got some vents. Um, I believe these are the exhaust here. You can see represented by the end rods. I'm not 100% sure. I may have to have uh, Robert tell me uh, what exactly they are, but I'm pretty sure those are the exhausts for the uh, vehicle. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what's going on there. Then you have the back section here. This is pretty much where all your cargo would be placed. So you would have, uh, you know, your, uh, you know, maybe artillery shells or tank shells or something like that all piled in there and uh, all that stuff. And you can see this thing uh, actually did have some kind of winch or... Uh, uh, almost like a mini crane that they can actually use to lift uh, heavy shells up and into the vehicle. So uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff. And uh, yeah, you can see we pretty much have the winch uh, in there and all that stuff. And you can see the outline here. This is where the, the uh, canvas would actually be wrapped around it and all that stuff. So really cool. And then on the back, uh, you can see just some more detailing brake lights. Uh, you can see a trailer hitch down there for attaching, of course, trailers. And the back to, uh, that would be able to open up uh, for them to load the stuff in and all that fun stuff but anyways guys that's pretty much it for the uh m548 very cool little vehicle and as i mentioned i will be showing you guys at the end how to actually put the canvas on it and uh with that we can go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer 
layer one. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer one. So to get started with layer one here, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a nether brick half slab like this, followed by a nether brick top slab coming off of it. Now that right there is going to be the start of the left side of the tracks, as you guys can see uh, right there, that's what we went ahead and just did. I'm going to actually go ahead and move this over, just one, just so it fits in my plot, but just make sure you have the nether brick half slab and the nether brick top slab, just like that. Then uh, you want to go ahead and after that you're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four, and five dark oak wood stairs, just like this, followed by another brick half slab, and then a nether brick top slab, just like that. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a, we're going to go ahead and place down a, a nether, or dark oak wood uh, top slab here right next to this nether brick uh, half slab, and we just want to place down three across like that. Now going ahead and going to the back here, we're going to go ahead and go to this nether brick top slab, place down a row of three of nether brick uh, top, or sorry, dark oak wood top slabs, followed by one that comes out uh, toward the back like this, and you're just going to place down some uh, dark oak wood fence gates on either side and have it opened up so that they look like they connect to that uh, dark oak wood top slab. Now after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood top slabs and fill in the space connecting all the way up to this row up here in the front and that's gonna be the very bottom of the vehicle or the very bottom of the hole so just like that after you guys have that done we're gonna go and do the same thing we do on the air side with the tracks so your two nether brick slabs there and then our five uh, dark oak wood stairs and then our uh, nether brick half slabs just like that and uh, once you guys have that all done you guys are done with layer one and can move on to layer two. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer two for layer two, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking our nether brick stairs, placing down one on either side on top of those nether brick top slabs, and then in between those we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green stained clay. After we go ahead and do that, we're going to take our dark oak wood top slabs, place down a row of three, coming off of those three green stained clay full blocks, and after that we're going to place down a row of five behind the stairs and that row of three of green stained clay. So row five across like that with a stone button on either side. We also want to take our wooden trap doors and go ahead and place it down on those nether brick stairs just like that as part of the armor kind of coming down over the track so just like that. After you guys go ahead and have that done on the sides here after this uh, green stain clay full block we're going to place down a nether brick top slab followed by three nether brick half slabs and then another nether brick top slab just like that followed by a green stain clay full block. We're going to go ahead and go over to the other side here and do the same exact thing so again a nether brick top slab, three nether brick half slabs, nether brick top slab, and then a green stained clay full block, just like that. Once you guys have uh, that done, we're going to place down a, a sorry, my bad, a nether brick stair on top of the nether brick top slab on either side, followed by a row three of green stained clay in between them, and then along the back here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five dark oak wood upside down stairs. Now, uh, once you guys have that all done, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood fence gates, place down one like this on either side so you have a space in the middle there and we're also going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames for this so uh item frames here we're going to use to go ahead and create the back tail lights so just like this so we're going to go and place down an item frame followed by a red stained glass block in it and then an item frame on the other side and do the same exact thing so just like that along the back and that's going to go ahead and start uh creating your back section here also on these green stained clay full blocks here we're going to go and put down a stone button and we also want to go ahead and go to this space here on the side of the tracks in the center here and fill this all in with green stained clay. And you can just go ahead and fill this all in. I mean, it's not going to hurt if you guys don't, but uh, you can just go ahead and fill it all in for the sake of the tutorial. But that, guys, right there is it for your second layer. And with that, we can move on to layer three. Alrighty, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Now, for layer three, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to your right side here and on top of this dark oak dark oak with top slab we're going to place down a green stained clay full block now uh to the right side of it we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with upside down stair but to the left side of this block we're going to place down uh two stone brick upside down stairs so you can see on the left side here we have two stone brick upside down stairs and then we just want to place down a dark oak with upside down stair to the far left of the vehicle now after we go ahead and do that uh basically on this green stained clay full block we're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate opened up so it looks like it connects to the block and also next to this one stair here we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak wood fence gate as well. In between them, we're going to go ahead and crouch and uh, place down an end rod just like that. And that's going to be your front winch there for the, uh, the vehicle. After you guys go ahead and have that done, we're going to take our green stained clay, place down a block right behind uh, these upside down stairs just like that. Then we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on your side. 
And then we want to go ahead and just place down two rows of five here of green stained clay all the way across just like this. Now once you guys have this done we're going to go ahead and basically start uh, the inside here. So for this uh, we want to go ahead and place down uh, basically it looks like uh, five rows of three. So we have one, two, three, four, and five rows of um, spruce wood. Now you guys can use whatever material you guys want for the bottom here. I would decide to use some wood just to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight. Um, but you guys can always, uh, you know, switch it up, do whatever you guys want. Uh, but basically, just put some kind of a, uh, some kind of flooring in there for the uh, the vehicle. So you have that all set up, ready to go. Along the sides here, we're gonna go and go six back like that, so, so it's gonna end on top of that upside down dark oak wood stair. Same thing over here, just like that. And then we're gonna place down a row of three in between, creating a row of five on the back here. Now on these three center green stained clay blocks, we're gonna go ahead and take our wooden trap doors, place down wooden trap doors. Just like that to add a little bit of detail and kind of show that this right here is where the hatch would be on the back that could be opened up to uh, pull uh, the ammunition or whatever it's carrying out. And uh, that guys right there is it for layer three and with that we can move on to layer four. Alrighty guys so going ahead and moving on to layer four. For layer four what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here and placing down a row of five here of green stained clay all the way across the front. After we do that we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on the center on the uh, sides like that and then in the center block just like that on the sides of those green stinkway blocks just like that and then we're going to take an item frame place it down on each corner and then place down a uh, a uh, glass block in it just like that to make your front headlights after you guys go and do that we're going to place down two green stinkway blocks back and there actually should be a button on the side there but we're just going to go and place down a button on the side there like that for the latch for the door so just like that on either side and we also want to go and fill in this space right here with green stained clay making this a row of five just like that once you guys have uh that done we're going to go ahead and uh take our green stain or green stained clay here and place down a row of two there in the center followed by two rows of two here of polished anisite on either side now on the side two of this polished anisite box we're going to go and place down two green banners if you guys are playing on uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition and do not have banners, a good substitute would probably be wooden trapdoors. Those will work out just fine. But uh, preferably banners, if you guys do have them, go ahead and throw them in right there in that space. So after you guys uh, go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and take our green stain clay and just place down a row of six toward the back again, just like we did on the previous layer. So just like that, and then we're going to go ahead and go across, so we have a row of five on the back. Now on the back here, we're going to go ahead and just take our wooden trapdoors, place down another three, just like that, followed by a stone button on either side. For the sides here, we're going to place down a stone button, followed by three signs. So just like this, stone button on the corner block, and then three signs, and then another stone button. And going ahead and going over here, we're going to go ahead and just do the same exact thing. So for signs, total of three of them, just like that, and then a stone button, like that. And that's going to do a little bit of the detailing there uh, for that layer, and that's actually going to go ahead and finish off our fourth layer and with that we can move on to layer five Alrighty, guys so moving on to our next layer we have layer five now for layer five what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the front up here place down two dark oak wood fence posts just like that and then after that we're going to go ahead and follow it up by placing down a row of five of light gray stained glass panes all the way across and after we do that a row of five here of light gray stained glass full blocks across like that and that should be your front windshield and windows and all that stuff right there after you guys go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on the backs, or the sides really, of these um, light gray stained glass full blocks, just like that on either side, and we're going to have three left open there in the center. After you guys do that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post there on that green stained clay block, followed by a end rod here on those polished anisite blocks on either side. Once you guys go ahead and do that, uh, this part right here is basically optional. If you guys are going to be putting the canvas on, uh, then you guys can go ahead and kind of skip this, uh, but if you guys are not, or if you guys are not putting the canvas on, you guys will actually want to put it just like this. We're going to go ahead and continue on. So for this, we're just going to place down two dark oak wood fence posts on either side. Skip a space of one, two dark oak wood fence posts. Skip a space of one, two dark oak wood fence posts. Just like that. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all done, you guys are done with your uh, fifth layer. And uh, with that, we can go ahead and move on to our last final layers here, which will be layers uh, six and uh, seven and eight. And which we'll go ahead and just put on, put on all the... Uh, Final stuff and pretty much finish this vehicle off. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our final layers. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our last final layers. Now for these, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, start off by building our gun mount and the gun itself. So for this, we're going to start off by placing down two green carpets on either side like that for part of the roof of the uh, this uh, section here. 
Once you guys uh, go ahead and uh, finish that off, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on either, s or sorry, my bad, not a dark oak wood stair, my bad, a dark oak wood half slab like that on either side, followed by one on top of that dark oak wood fence post. Once you guys have that done, we're going to place down an upside down dark oak wood stair coming off of each of these half slabs just like that. And then in between these half slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood half slab just like that, and that's going to be basically the basic design there for the gun mount. Now on top of this dark oak wood half slab here, we're going to place down an upside down stone brick stair. And we just want to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates coming off of it, just like that. Once you guys have that done, on the back of the stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, open it up so it looks something just like that. And we just want to place down a redstone up here on top, flick it back a few times, and then to the left side we're going to place down a dark oak wood top side there for the magazine for the uh, 50, followed by a green carpet on top of it. And then on top of these stairs and half slabs, we're just going to go ahead and place down some green carpets around just like that. And that right there, guys, is going to basically do it for your gun mount. Now, uh, going ahead and moving on, uh, we actually have one last thing we need to do on the gun mount, which is actually place down two levers and have them flicked down so they look like they connect up to those uh, dark oak wood uh, fence posts. But once you guys have that done, we can go ahead and move on. So on top of these end rods here, we're just going to go ahead and place down another end rod. So just like that on your side. And again, this is basically the design here. If you guys are not putting the, uh, if you guys are going to plan on putting the canvas on, then uh, go ahead and uh, skip this next part that we're going to do, and you guys can go ahead and move on to the canvas part. Uh, but anyways, for this section here, we're going to go ahead and grab a few materials because we will need them. And uh, just like that, we should be good. So to get started here, we're just going to go ahead and place down another dark oak wood uh, fence post on top of all the fence posts we've already placed. So just go ahead and go around and place down a second one on top of it, just like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves a uh, placeholder block, which will be good for us to use. So we can go ahead and place down our um, fence gates here. So then coming off of these fence posts, we're going to go ahead and place down a fence gate coming in toward the center. So just like this on your side. So we're just going to go ahead and place down a placeholder block under, under, underneath it so we can actually place down the fence gate. And uh, just go ahead and do this for all these fence posts. So you should get something that kind of looks like that. Now, once you guys have that complete, we want to go ahead and go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab in between them. And we're just going to go ahead and place down uh, some stone brick top slabs all the way back till we get to about this point here. So this last few last fence gates. After you get to this point here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair and then a stone brick top slab just like that. Now, uh, one thing that uh, you guys can also note is that this crane can move all, all the way back and forth. So if you wanted to, you could actually have it right here. And you can go and delete that and place down their stone brick slab and you can actually put the crane in. Something like that. I mean, it, it can move basically along this line here. So you guys can have a position wherever you guys want. Uh, just a little notice for you guys in case you guys uh, may be wondering. But uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for the M548. Uh, if you guys will stay tuned, we'll go ahead and put the canvas on and finish the build off. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to the final part of the tutorial, which will be putting the canvas... Uh, covering over the back. All right guys, so going ahead and moving on to the canvas. Now, I went ahead and just kind of kept what we just got done with in the tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys where to break it all and stuff like that. So uh, you guys can go ahead and get started. So basically what we want to do is we're just going to go ahead and end up taking down these dark oak wood fence posts. Uh, we, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of those. So that's going to be the first thing we do is uh, again, just get rid of those and make sure you guys don't break any blocks like I just did. So once you guys have this done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of sandstone uh, Spoo sandstone blocks on the side here, followed by a second row just like that on top of it. So you have a row of six like that. Now on the top here, we're going to go ahead and just take our, basically our uh, sandstone half slabs, and we're just going to place down rows of three all the way across the top, just like this. And like that, all the way till you get to the back, like so. And then on this side, we just want to go and do this the same thing. So just take your sand, smooth sandstone full blocks, place down two rows of six on top of each other, just like that. And uh, one thing that's always nice too is to go ahead and place down a, uh, a uh, sandstone top slab right there on your side. Uh, looks a little bit nicer, has a little bit more shape to it. And uh, up here in the front, we can also go ahead and fill this in. Um, a lot of, pretty much most of these actually had this all filled in here. So we're going to go ahead and delete these uh, fence gates and the top slab. And we're actually going to go ahead and just place in our uh, sand, smooth sandstone full blocks. And again, uh, you know, just have this crane in the center, just like that. That can move back and forth, and you have your canvas all on. And that's basically the design right there, with the canvas and without. So that guy's right there is going to basically finish it for the, M, the M548. 
uh, cargo carrier. The basic design, we're going to be having a few more tutorials come out later for it that uh, actually put on the uh, extra stuff. And uh, one thing I actually noticed real quick, <laughs> forgot to put down a wooden trap door right here. I hope I did it over here on this side. I did not. So go ahead and place down that wooden trap door on the nether brick stair if you haven't already. My bad. <laughs> but uh, anyways, now that's going to do it for the M, the M548 uh, cargo carrier. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me proper credit. This be anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if this is appearing on social media sites. Uh, just be sure to give me proper credit for the build. I really do appreciate when you guys do and it helps my channel grow. So be sure to please uh, give me credit for the build if you do use it. And, um, yeah, so, uh, again, be sure to suggest what more Warfare vehicles you guys want to see next time, and I'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as I can. But other than that, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Expect to see the uh, additional variants and stuff like this of this vehicle coming out uh, sometime soon. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.